So screening mammography is meant for asymptomatic patients, patients that don't have any concerns or complaints. They're just coming in for an annual checkup. And for those patients, we would do a screening mammogram where they would come in, have the, the pictures taken, and leave. And the images would be read after they left. And for the most part, those studies turn out to be normal, and the patient would get a letter saying that everything is normal, and their doctor would get the report. On the other hand, if there's anything of concern on the screening mammogram, then the patient will be asked to return for a diagnostic mammogram. So there are two types of diagnostic mammograms for the most part. One would be that you had something seen on the screening exam and we're having you come back to look at that area because of a concern that we have. The other reason that someone might have a diagnostic mammogram is that their doctor has a concern. And so they'll come in from the get-go as a diagnostic mammogram. We might do all four pictures, two on each side, because they're due for their annual mammogram. But again, we would then pay special attention to any area of concern. So if a woman was experiencing pain in a particular area of the breast, or felt a lump in the breast, then it would be appropriate for them to come in as a diagnostic mammogram.